Everybody is so nervous about all these lawsuits where real estate agents aren't gonna be getting paid commission, buyers agent aren't gonna be paid commissions. Now you gotta be just a listing agent. You can't, you know, everybody's coming to take the business away. Look, it's no different than when Zillow came around and everybody's like, Zillow's gonna take all of our business. But yet, there's still so many realtors in business, like it's gonna be okay. And it's no different than, well, actually, you know, like, obviously, yes, that sucks. But there has been agents that have not paid buyer agent commissions that take 3% listings. And I think it's up to us, the realtors and the realtor community to protect each other. Now, I get it. Some realtors are just a-holes, right? They're, they're out for themselves. They don't care about you know, like trying to pay out a fair share. They just want to win and they want everybody else to lose. Hey, that's great. But a lot of my friends who are realtors who have been in the business for a long time, they actually are a bunch of loving, caring people that are always out there helping people, getting things done. And those realtors seem to be always succeeding no matter what. So who cares what the situation is? I think if you work hard and you're in sales and you're actually helping people buy and sell real estate, you don't have to worry. Like your job is not gonna be in jeopardy, right? It's just simply not gonna be in jeopardy. And if you take the time to continue to become better and better and better and work on your skills and, you know, not listen to every bit of news that comes out listen this court case has been going on for so long and yet and still i'm in business as a regular realtor just out here selling it getting things done and i think that's how you need to look at it and when i take listings i'm paying out i'm telling my sellers we're paying out right we're paying a buyer agency fee i don't care what the lawsuit said this is just the way to do it because you you know i've bought houses for sale by owners i've seen buyers go direct in my 14 year career and every time i look at the numbers after that situation is done the buyers seem to me like they overpaid or they got screwed over one way or another whether it's on closing costs or so, or like the home inspection and just all kinds of things because they don't know how to negotiate. They don't do this for a living. They need you, right? People need your skill set, especially if you're good. And I've seen sellers that I've bought houses from sellers directly myself. I promise you one thing. If you don't have a realtor watching over you, it's like going to court without a lawyer. If you go to court without a lawyer, well, let's just be honest. There's a high chance, a very, very high chance you are going to get screwed because you're not an attorney, just like you're not a realtor. And it's hard to compete with a good realtor, somebody who's out there crushing it and getting it done. So, hey, I'm taking my listings. I don't care what nobody says. I wish I didn't have to belong to G-Bar or NAR or any of those because they certainly, I don't think, do much for us. I also wish I didn't have to belong to MLS PIN because I don't think they do much for us. And I also wish that people would realize in the real estate industry, listen, as long as I've been in real estate, doesn't matter what the lawsuit is on a macro, big scale, on a micro scale, if you're a realtor, everybody in the business is trying to screw you, pull a fast one on you, eat away at your commission, tell you you don't know what you're doing. This happens all the time. This is the business of real estate. It's facing opposition, getting up every morning, helping people and going out there and getting it done. Look, if you got that kind of mindset, you're simply not going to have a problem in this business moving forward. Listen, I've seen people get um, negotiate with themselves and with each other. And at the end of the day, when I look at the hard numbers, they end up losing. You don't have a realtor, you're probably not getting top dollar for your home. 
if you're a buyer, you, you don't have a realtor representing you, you're probably gonna get screwed. You're probably gonna get sued. You're probably gonna lose your deposit. And I think because of that, it makes me not worry as much as I see some people worry because of these different lawsuits where, you know, the realtor is getting squeezed once again. Well, guess what? I've helped so many people make so much money selling real, you know, not them, me selling real estate and helping them with their investments, with their homes, where they raise their kids, with all kinds of things, right? Helping them make their next real estate move. And it makes me fucking happy. Sorry for swearing, kids. It makes me happy because like, listen, I'm out here helping people, getting it done. You think I care what, who's taking whose commission or anything like that? No, because if you do good work, you will get paid for it.